Guys, it's your boy Vexed again, and we are here with the uh, Tuesday Night Sylvia series. This is uh, round two from Deep Forest Raceway. This is race one. Uh, we've had to sack the soundboard guy for the meantime. We're, we're going to be getting him back uh, for the next round, I'm sure. But yeah, so we'll have a quick rundown through the pack. Uh, we've got Alba first place. We've got Molson in second. Look at my PP third. Dyson in fourth. Grasshopper fifth. Paul in sixth. Joey Smile seventh. Hodgie in 8th, Cooney in ninth, and Kevin 10th. So without further ado, let's get into it. And they're off. Not really many, many uh, positions being swapped at the start. Well, Alba still currently in that third, first position. Uh, Molson looks like he might take it into turn one. He's got the inside line. Alba's on the outside, Molson's managing to take our first place, is he? No, Alba's still managing to hold on to it, so there's a great battle forming here between Alba and Molson. We've got Dyson behind him, look at my PP and Paul Lee. Look at my PP and Paul Lee, looking like they're uh, running as teammates for this season, both in the gold Sylvia S15. This is quite a hard track to overtake on. There's only a few overtaking places, really, that where you can get the move done. One of the first ones being after this long straight down into the tight hairpin. See how many moves are going to be getting made there. We've still got currently got Alba in first. We've got Molson second. Look at my PP third. Paulie in fourth. Paulie in fifth. Sorry. Look at my PP fourth. Paulie fifth. And he, Paulie's looking for the move. He was looking for the move on his teammate, not quite managing to get it done, as it looks like Dyson might be trying to get past Molson as well up ahead. We'll have, a, have another look in a minute. We've got Grasshopper, who was so dominant in the first round at Watkins Glen. He's down in sixth position, followed by Jerry. Jerry's in seventh. Cooney's in eighth. We've got Kev has managed to get past Hodgie to take up that ninth position, so Hodgie's found himself down in tenth, but he's fighting back. Kev's got the inside line though, so I think he's going to keep that position for the minute, and he has. Although it looks like, oh, he has a big moment, he has a big moment. Hodgie might have got through there, but he's managed to keep it ahead. We'll have a quick look at the front runners. Alba still currently in first. Dyson has managed to get past Molson now, and Molson's actually picked up a small penalty. That's unlucky Molson, I think he's going to drop back behind. Look at my PP there as well, Wadru in fourth place. Not really sure where the uh, where the penalty line is on this track. I think it's coming down this uh, this long straight here. Yeah, and it does say that Mawson's going to have to slow down and serve this penalty. Is he? He has got the run on Dyson. He's moved over to the inside, but it looks like the penalty didn't slow him down too much. But Wadju has managed to go through, and so has Paul. But Mawson is going to be fighting it back through this turn. He's got the insides. He's going to keep it there, I think. Yeah, Paul's still behind him. So Paul's had to slot him behind him. He's going to make the most of that slipstream coming up to this, uh, coming up to the start finish straight. Very fast track this one. I know the lads were saying this was a really enjoyable race for them, and uh, they couldn't wait to see the replays. Oh, it's Molson, he gets the move done down the inside of Wadru, but he's gone a little bit deep. I think that's going to let Wadru come back along the inside, and he has. There's a switcheroo there from Wadru. Look at my PP, he's managed to take, retake that third position. So Molson's still currently in fourth, but he's getting hounded by Paulie. Paulie's right on his bumper there in fifth position. These top five have actually started to get the rest of the pack now as well. Paulie. Paulie looking for that for a way past Molson, but he's not going to quite get it done yet. I think we'll stay on board quickly to uh, to just see if he manages to get the run down the uh, down the back straight here. A little bit deep there from Paul. I think I thought he was going to graze the wall slightly. That was going to put him on the back foot, take a bit of that pace away from him. But he's still in the slipstream currently. I think he's going to be looking for that move into the hairpin. Not quite close enough currently, but he could be hard on the brakes. He might be able to 
send it. No, not quite close enough. At that juncture. Grasshopper. Grasshopper looking like he's uh, under a lot of pressure now from Jerry. Jerry was touching his bumper. He likes to touch a bum, does Jerry? Oh, I don't know, there might have been a little bit of contact there between him and Jerry, but... Jerry's still there, he's still there, he's not quite down the outside. Where's he gone? Oh, he's on his inside. He's gone from the outside to the inside, he is definitely looking for a way past him as Jerry. We've got a ball with Jerry. I think it's as close as battle at the moment. A little bit of contact there between Jerry and Grasshopper. They're both still going though. Didn't put either of them too out of shape, so no safety car currently. Cooney, Cooney not under pressure from Kev at the moment. A little bit in no man's land. Oh, as we have a big, big moment of understeer there from Kev into that last turn, that might let Hodgie back past him. Hodgie's still there in his slipstream. I think the move is going to be done, possibly. He's covering off that inside. He's going to be trying to hug that inside to... Hodgie can't sling it up there into the hairpin. <clears throat> Hodgie looking for a way around the outside. Kev going very defensive. As he goes very deep there, that's going to let Hodgie through. Hodgie's managed to take up that ninth position. Kev is still there on his inside, though as they come up to the uh, to the start finish straight for the fifth time this is your current race leader Alba Alba starting to put away from the rest of the pack now and that plain orange live read S15 He's actually currently got the fastest lap for 133.051 and he's just put in another fastest sector. He's slowly approaching the halfway mark. Look at my PP. I've actually got a funny feeling that the, uh, the libraries haven't actually rendered properly for this race, which is why everyone seems to be showing plane cars. Does look quite nice in gold though, does that S15? Perhaps uh, Wadri's paid a visit to Yanni. Oh, so we've got Dyson looking for the move down the inside. Oh, it's a bit contact into that hairpin. Oh, that's unlucky. Dyson's now on the back foot. I think Morton's going to manage to get through. Look at my PP. Kept that second position. A Dyson is currently in third, but Molson's all over his bumper now. And he has got a pool behind him as well, so he's bringing Paul with him. He's bringing Paul to the party. They said it was going to be an exciting one, and it is. As Molson pulls into the inside, is he going to go for the move on Dyson? He's looking for the move. I think Dyson's still got a pace advantage at this moment. There, so Dyson still in third place. Paul looking for a move on uh, on Mawson there as well. He's going to be concentrating in both directions at the moment, both in front of him and behind him is Mawson. We'll come back to these three in a minute. So we've got Grasshopper. Grasshopper's uh, kind of finding himself in a little bit of no man's land here as well. He's not managed to catch up to the top five. <clears throat> Jerry's dropped off the back of him now as well, and he's also got a 0.5 second penalty, so uh, that's damaged his effort slightly. It's, I don't think it's going to bring Cooney into it just yet, though, but it may do. Cooney's not too far behind him in that WD40 S15, so perhaps Cooney's uh, car is the only one that the library's actually rendered properly on, unless everybody's uh, opted for plain libraries I'm not entirely certain I know that Dyson was running a pink one in the first race with uh, some lovely ladies on the side
Hodgie still currently in ninth, Kevin tenth. So Hodgie's, uh, Hodgie's library is actually rendered there as well, and so is Kev. So perhaps people have uh, opted for a different one in this uh, second round. Alba is still currently in first place. Smashing out them fastest laps. Because he's done another purple sector there. I think that was the first sector. Look at my PP. Dyson, Molson really being hounded, or he was really being hounded by Paul it seems. He hasn't got anyone challenging him just yet, so uh, Molson's going to be doing alright into this, into the hairpin. He's not going to be having to go defensive, he's uh, taking a nice line through there. Paul having to just serve a 0.5 second penalty I believe it was. Or is he going to be serving it down this start from this straight? I can't quite remember where. I think it was on the uh, on the back straight that we just passed before that hairpin, where he would have served that penalty, which is why he's dropped off the back of Molson slightly now. Grass off us. Still not really in a position to challenge him for that fifth position, but I'm sure he'll be trying his utmost to to get onto the back of Paul before the end of this race, as we've just passed the halfway mark. I think tyre wear is going to come into play into these uh, three races. Almost certainly on the third one being two times tyre wear, two times fuel consumption, although it is a shorter race. Grasshopper. Grasshopper managing the gap, Jerry now. Jerry's uh, definitely dropped way off the back of him. He was right on his bumper at one point, he was almost pushing Grasshopper along now, but he's uh, now finding himself. You see, I think Grasshopper just went under the bridge as Jerry came round that final turn. Or well, the, the turn that we just went past anyway. It wasn't the final turn. I think it was turn eight. This hairpin being turn nine. I think Jerry's going to be getting challenged by uh, Cooney anytime soon though. Looks like Cooney's definitely got a pace advantage over him, but is he going to manage his tyres well enough to be able to make the most of it? Get the most out of that soft compound of rubber. Oji. Oji actually managing to gap Kev now. on board with our race leader again. <coughs> a bit of a slide there through that last turn from uh, Alba. Oh, as we got, I think we've got Molson challenging Dyson now. Dyson's going to be on the back foot. It looks like Molson's definitely pushing him along. He wants that third position, does Molson. And yeah, Dyson's definitely uh, not running the same library as he was last week. Does look quite nice though in, uh, in white and black, that S15. Definitely more so than the pink one that he was running. <laughs> Fair play to him though, it's a, it's a brave man that runs a pink library on his car. Molson there in the Sea uh, West. Library S15. Tucking into that slipstream. I think he might be here sizing up and moving to turn one. Has he got the run? I think he may have the run. Or the runs. Now he's having to slot back in behind. Dyson was uh, definitely braver on the brakes there. As 
Paul Lee's managed to, he's creeping up onto the back of him again. He had dropped off after that serving that penalty, but he's, uh, he's managed to get his head back in the race. Coming up to around about five minutes left of this race now. Just past the 15 minute mark. And we can see Grasshopper's got a lot closer than he was before, so Grasshopper might be able to challenge Paul for that fifth position anytime soon. He is, uh, I think he's, uh, he was having to wait for his tyres to warm up possibly and now that they have he's, he's managing to get onto the back of the top five. <clears throat> he had a bit of a deep line for that last turn after that chicane but he's not ended up with a penalty so that's all good. He's going to keep his head down and keep trying to chase the rest of the top five. Jerry smiles. Crosses the start finish line for the 11th time. He's really dropped off the back of uh, Grasshopper now though, is Jerry. It's unlucky Jerry. I'm sure he'll be uh, doing his utmost to try and catch up to him. Cooney. Cooney looking fairly comfortable this race. Not having uh, great results in the first round, but I think he's been putting the practice in, and uh, it's nice. As I said before, it's nice to see him back with us, back with the Ultimate Racing League. Hodge still currently in ninth. Not actually managed to catch up to Cooney yet, but I think he's going to be trying to. Kev find himself all the way down there in 10th position it looks like he's used way more of the rubber than the rest of the uh, field have so not not really managing his tyre wear there is Kev that's unlucky he's had some alright results as well this uh, in this S15 series lovely HKS library it looks like Albert may have had a slight mistake he had a really quite a good lead over the rest of the pack but Look at my PP Wadru has managed to catch up to him as he slides into that turn one. The battle for first place is hot and up. As you see his mirrors are all full of that gold S15 there. Perhaps his tyre wear is slightly coming into play as well. Maybe Wadru's looked after his tyres slightly more, which he has. You can see that there on the graphic. Wadru's going to be looking for the move here into the uh, into the hairpin. He's going to be staying on that slipstream. Look, Alba's covering it off already. You can see the move coming, so he, uh, he's moved over to the inside. Wadru's going to have to try and make the move stick around the outside, but there's always a hard one to do around this hairpin. Although it does look like Alba just backed right out then. He is still there. He was still there. Wadru's taken up first position. Alba's going to have the slip coming into turn one now, so... He might manage to get back past him. Oh, we've got Paul has actually managed to make it past Morton now. We've got on board with them two in a minute, just to have a look. And yeah, as I said, Alba is looking for the move into turn one. He's got the inside, he managed to get it done. But I think Wadri might get the switcheroo. No, he's had to slot back in behind him. We'll come back on board with these two in just a second. Dyson currently in third. He's not being challenged by anyone at the moment. He's just going to be trying to uh, catch up to the top two. And we've got Molson and Paul. Molson and Paul nearly a bit of contact there. Paul's managed to keep that fourth position. Molson was going for the move. He managed to take out fourth momentarily, but he's uh, he's found himself back down in fifth. 
not having to worry about Grasshopper for a minute though. As we are coming up to the uh, the last minute or the last 30 seconds of this race, it is a 20 minute race. The first two races are 20 minute races and then I believe the third one is a 15 with uh, extended tyre wear and fuel consumption. A right, quick run down through the packs, so we've got Alba currently in first place, look at my PP second. Dyson is currently in third, we've got Paul in fourth, Molson is in fifth and this is the final lap, so we go on board with the race leaders. There is going to be a battle here for, uh, for first place. Wadru is on the inside. Is he going to manage to get past Alba on the start finish line? I'm not sure. He has. He's managed to take up that first position. It's going to be a race to the chequered flag. Is Alba going to manage to come back past him? No, it's Wadru in first. Alba second. I've nearly lost my voice. <clears throat> Dyson in third. Paul's managed to keep fourth place. It was uh, almost a photo finish over the line between him and Molson there. So Molson's fifth, Grasshopper's sixth. Jerry's going to finish in seventh. Cooney. Oh, it was Hodgie's nearly on the back of Cooney. So Hodgie was uh, he was managing to make make some. Blah, 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 blah. He was managing to gain on Cooney through the last uh, couple of laps. So we got Cooney, followed by Hodgie, and then Kev has brought it up in 10th. Well, that was uh, race one from round three. I hope you see me for the next one. I've been your boy, Vex, and we'll see you next time.